you are one of the great blaggers of all time. <laughs> and that's coming from one of the great blaggers of all time. The greatest blagger of all time. Bad friend. Really bad friend. Yeah. Oh, go on then. <laughs> I think zingers are on another level. Well, big tone. We are the wingmen today. So, Ed, tell me, where are we going? We're in Brentwood, and we're actually going to go and pick up a little KFC. Mind a little zinger as we go, actually, to be fair. That sounds nice. Twister, wrap, nice. A few hot wings. Ooh. And uh, we're going to deliver it to a KFC boxing super fan. So, obviously, mm. being the, the star name that you are in the sport tone, you're probably going to get mobbed. You might not be able to leave the area or the house. You know what I mean? We're in, we're in Brentwood, not, not Waverty. Mate, you're a national star, a global star. In fact, oh, well. I mean, one former world champion, now Hollywood actor. So How did you even end up fluking the acting? It just came about with a phone call. I thought it was a wind up, it wasn't. And I didn't think I'd be able to do it. And I said no on a few occasions. And then the director, Ryan Coogler, flew into town and, and convinced me that I could do it because I had no acting experience. I wasn't sure I'd be able to do it. But let's be totally honest, they weren't asking me to play like a heart surgeon, was they? Mm. They were asking me to play a world champion boxer. And which it, you weren't at the time. Which I weren't, but believed that I well and truly was. Yeah. When you were fighting, obviously, you did talk a lot of shit, didn't you, right? And Fuck I remember off. when you said to me before that fight, you was like, before the Cleverly fight, you go... It's a great fight. Great fight, yeah, thanks for that. I always get... Well, do you know what I love as well? When the <laughs> fire, it ain't the fighter's fault, it's mine. So, you fight Nathan Cleverly, two. First one, one of the best fights I've ever seen. <laughs> I think I'll promote the rematch. How can it not be another great fight? The worst fight ever, I get the stick. Right, thanks. Not but before shit. that fight, you're going to me, I've got a bit of news for you after this fight. I can't tell you at the moment. But. Because I weren't going to do it if I lost. Anyway, finished the fight. I think I said I didn't even want to talk to you because my phone, basically, people were just telling me they were going to, like, just come around my house and ask for their pay per view money back. Be honest, Dad, say hello to this. You, you whispered to me, he goes, I'm in the new Rocky film. I was like, oh, shut up, mate. <laughs> I know you're a little bit deluded, but just just stop right there. <laughs> and the next thing, you're over there in the, in a Rocky film, and I thought, what, you're a stunt double, <laughs> and you're actually the main bad guy. But well, you are one of the great blaggers of all time, <laughs> and that's coming from one of the great blaggers of all time. The greatest blagger of all time, by the way. You know what? I'd a, I'd a call someone asking me if I wanted to go on that SAS program. What do you think? I think you'll do well as long as you, you prepare yourself before it. You're in shape. Do you know what? When I look back physically. It's not that demanding, it's mentally. Really? It's mentally taxing. I'd say but mentally. Actually, probably. like, you know, you get the impression as a viewer that mm. actually, like, in front of the camera, it's all like, yeah, do that. But, and then they'll stop filming and go, all right, good one. Mm. Good, like. Well, I was expecting that. So when I got to their first night, I'd watched a couple of episodes and thought, it's going to get to up nine o'clock and go, right, guys, shut up, or back to the hotel yeah, tonight, yeah, then we'll come back grab. in the morning. Yeah. yeah, that didn't happen. Really? No, that didn't happen, mate. And uh, I don't know what you've seen because I've never watched it back, but believe you me whatever you've seen only does it 10 percent worth of justice because it's not nice Probably. in the in the nine nights i was on camp i slept no more than 26 hours in nine nights probably give that one a miss so Ed, not only now are you like a globally huge promoter you are now a, like a meme star no context here talk to me yeah but i would never have thought and i know we joke about obviously where i came from but i've worked pretty hard right along the way but all this recognition that you get from actually achieving something in business is dwarfed by the recognition you get as a meme. This is the world that we live in. I remember when Liverpool won the Premier League and Virgil van Dijk, the first thing he done was he posted a clip and it was me walking into the change room going, job done, few beers, la -di da here we go, or something like that. And I was like, Virgil van Dijk? And, and whenever there's any major incident around the world, yeah. they're just there everywhere. But a lot of people, because everyone thinks how slippery I am, they're like, that's, that's a genius move, that is, that, that thing you created. I'm like, what? He goes, that, that, no context there, and that's so smart. I'm like, literally, I, I, it would have been... Do you know who it is? Yeah, it's a bloke called Andy who works for the NHS. He, he messaged me Jesus about three years ago. Christ. And he was like, look, I watch all your interviews. Do you mind if I create this, like, at no context, Hearn site? I'm like, whatever, mate. Like, yeah, how big is that going to be? Next thing, he's got like a million followers. <laughs> and they, they they wanted to create a merchandise. Uh, they've done mugs, T-shirts, hats. And I, I know to, you've got a piece of that. No, no, no. So what, I, I phoned him up. I thought, oh, hold on. 
months and I said 25% of that profit to the children's hospice that we work with. Oh, well, and he ended up sending them like, I don't know, like 15, 20 grand to the oh, hospice. So, right. so he must have had it right off because he had the other 75%. Well, I thought, but, I thought you wanted 50 50. Yeah, no, I should have really. Bad deal. Oh well. On a serious note though, has life changed a lot for you since you've become a major celebrity? No. Tony was joking, mate. <laughs> 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 no, no. You've had it off, though, you? have done me good, dear. <laughs> that one's gonna stick. <laughs> so, it's time to pull up and get this KFC delivery, finally. What's your go-to KFC number? And my mouth is actually warm. You know what I mean? <laughs> Start, I haven't eaten today, I'm and starving. It's got to include popcorn chicken. I think zingers are on another level. The gravy, the KFC gravy. See, I remember me dad once, he done us a roast in it. And he went out and bought two bucket, two tubs of KFC gravy to put on the roast dinner because he didn't want to make the gravy. And it was one of the best roast dinners I've ever had. It wasn't the best, but it was up there. Some boy the colonel, wasn't he? Right, Tone. Good job driving, mate. Obviously, director, sort of bigger name personality. So they've asked if you can go and get the grub as well. And also oh, deliver it. Unbelievable this. I have dropped down the pecking order so much. I mean, Must be hard. I mean, world champion boxer. Yeah. TV celebrity. Pundit. Yes. Hollywood actor. Sometimes. KFC delivery driver. It's good. To, I feel like, as a close mate of yours, we just need to, every now and again, just bring you back down to earth. Because sometimes you can get a little bit ahead of yourself. Also, hero, villain. Be nice for you to go in there, do a little appearance. Oh, it's Tony Bell, you are. I remember him from Creed. Oh, that guy, yeah, he's on his own. Oh, oh. Bad friend. Really bad friend. <laughs> Off you go, go on. Hello, lad. Right, listen. The prank is locked in. Bellew's gone to get the KFC. Basically, he thinks we're going to deliver it to a massive boxing fan. Big Tony Bellew fan, knows all the fighters. In fact, he's an undercover actress who just so happens to be a massive Eddie Hearn fan that has basically never heard of Tony Bellew. Enjoy the ride. Oh, well done, lad. Got a few well, extras for us in there, boy. So that's for the delivery. That goes in the back. And then I've got a few snacks oh, for me and you, you Edward. Blinder. <laughs> Jobs are good. Man. Genuinely over the moon with this. Whoa, sweet chilli. Oh, mate. The chips are on another level. All right, lad, don't hug it all to oh, yourself. You. Share oh, and share the like. That's how we do things around here, son. Oh, mate. Yeah. Oh, go on, then. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I've also got the gravy. Can't go to KFC. I've never had KFC gravy. Are you messing? Just dip the chips in, yeah? Just dip whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> mm. I see what you mean about the roast dinner. Big tournament soon. England in Qatar. Yeah. What do you reckon? Do you know what? You're better to talk better to me because I've gone a bit off the radar since the Euro. I'm just a glory hunter. Once we piped up in the last 16 of the Euros, I was all over it. But <laughs> Favourite England players of all time? Alan Shearer. Was it? You couldn't write this. I'm getting pulled by police. Afternoon, gents. How are we? All right, boss. Apologies. Um, purely only is she can't know insurance. Right. Um, <laughs> so we see you're seeing a convoy, and the others are, but it's purely yeah, no insurance. Okay. Stuff, so he actually thought it was a wind up. And yeah, I, and a prank. So he's so no, you know what I mean. I was like, I said to him. I don't think they'd do that, you know. So I was thinking about taking chase just for the wind up. <laughs> yeah. Let's just be thankful. Would have been a good story though if you did that, yeah. <laughs> We had Harry Kane down the Orient. Yeah. My old man, we were really struggling. My old man, Paddy with Harry Redknapp, phoned him up when he was at Spurs and said, really need a couple of players on loan. Got anyone to help us out, Harry? And he went, yeah, I'll send you a couple of boys down. Andros Townsend, Oof. right? And Harry Kane. The hammer. Andros Townsend was unbelievable. Quite I mean, rapid, rapid. He's had And you could now. see that, yeah, I know, you could see the levels, obviously, between Harry Kane, <laughs> Uh, gone on to be one of the greatest players the country's ever produced. He was a very, very good player, but you, if you had the two of them, you'd say Townsend was on another level. Mm. And we got promoted, and Harry Kane came to uh, Vegas, and he didn't even go out because he was he was only a young kid. But he 
He was very disciplined. But when he went back, everyone at Orium was sort of like, what a lovely player Harry Kane is. Probably won't go on to do much, but lovely fella. Look at him. Probably while we're in Division 2. So we're nearly there, mate, the big delivery. Yeah, ready to pull in. A bit nervous. Nervous? It must be hard for you getting mobbed by people like this, do you know what I mean? Well, even though you do take the f***s, Edward, I've just been mobbed by three women in KFC. Aren't they? I don't, I'm not taking. That's what I'm saying. Don't don't underestimate how popular you are in Essex. That's what I'm saying. Don't mess around. It's a nice snug fit as well under that. Come <laughs> on, mate. You have not. You don't have else, do they? Oh well, they're not in. That's a shame. Hiya. How you doing? Hello, sweetheart. Yeah, hey, Daniel. Ed, hand that over, Tony. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you delivering my KFC? Oh, I know, I know. It's a little surprise <laughs> from a KFC. How are you? Oh my God, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you delivering my KFC? Oh, well, we're just about and about. Do you know Tony? There we are as Hello, well. Hello, sweetheart. Tony. Yeah. You okay, mate? You were in um, Creed. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like Anthony in that. Yeah. He's yeah. really good. Yeah. Oh my god, so, that, that suits you that. Do you think so? Yeah, we put it on before oh we dress god, up. Good, Eddie. Go to full hog. <laughs> it's always a pleasure, you know, to be out the delivering on the streets of Essex. So Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. Can I get um, a picture? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you can. come here, yeah, I'll yeah. take it of you and Ed. Oh my god. <laughs> Match made in heaven. <laughs> Can I have a little look? Oh no, that oh no. Oh, oh no, can we get another one? It's like I've got five chins in that one. <laughs> right, can you yeah. do another one of them? Come here, of course I will. I don't know about the angle there, Tony. Move, move it a little. Can you just move it down just to the side like that? Like this? Oh yeah, just like you're kind of catching it. You get one like that. Yeah. Cake and take. Okay. Oh, that, that, that. I'm ready to go. Can um, I get another little yeah, cuddle? Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Thank you so much. No it's so nice Angel, to see you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. Enjoy your oh yeah, soon. thank you. Alright? Thank you. No problem. Legend. Right. You're a legend. Keep Take doing care. keep doing what you're doing. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so now, sweetheart. Are you doing any more acting then, Tony? Are you doing Ooh. panto? Don't know about that, love. Just because you've done something once doesn't mean you want to do It'd it be again. It'd good for the right. panto, I think, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. get you up it's home, church. It's behind you. That one, yeah, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's definitely behind me. <laughs> See, See you later. later. Bye. Bye. Oh, you do the panto, oh, too. Oh, my Jesus Christ. <laughs> to be honest, I felt kind of bad. I didn't want to hurt your confidence, so... Yeah, this on. was actually an actress. It weren't real. <laughs> she, I do, she's I do a big it. Tony Bellew fan, really. I actually love you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> you, you couldn't know. Sorry if you felt left out. Don't worry. Don't. Did you, just like, you took it really just well. Just like being back at home, Tony. <laughs> you've, you've known me for, what, ten years? Have you ever <laughs> seen anyone actually appreciate me and be as interested in me as that? <laughs> His exact words were, she loves you more than anyone in your own family. <laughs> See, you See you later. See you after. Oh, you, don't. you should keep yours, to be fair, just in case the old acting don't go on too well. Quite exact sync. That was funny, that woman, though. Do you remember when we had the uh, My Old Man's 70th at Matrim? Yeah. And we had that vodka luge? Yeah. And you gave me a dead leg? Why did they give you the dead leg, Ed? I don't remember. Well, it was nothing. No, you don't remember, no. You see, well, see this is, that's only half the story. You started it off. How? With the shoving and the pushing and the little nudging nudge. <laughs> so I had to take it up and Let me tell you, yeah, you gave me a dead leg. I swear to God, I mean, I was so drunk, I couldn't even remember the dead leg. I woke up in the morning, I felt like I'd been shot in my quad. You should never strike a member of the public with a dead leg. It's bad form. Edward, you are not a member of the public. <laughs> you are a trained <laughs> promoter. <Train. laughs> yeah. We're going to say trained athlete, yeah? Well, we've been your wingmen today. We've raised the bar. Tony, thanks for all your assistance, the driving, the collection of the food, the delivery. And your uh, your good gamesmanship as well, old boy. Always a pleasure, Edward. Always a pleasure. Over and out. <laughs>